Okay, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has set a minimum loan to deposit ratio for commercial banks. This is the difference between total deposits and total loans over a given period. According to reports by Bloomberg, the action will spare lending to stimulate the economic growth. By the directive, the regulator of the banking sector has, uh, in Nigeria has given lenders in the economy up to the end of September to have a loan to deposit ratio of 60% or have the funds they keep at the central bank increased. What does all these mean and what are lessons to be learned in Ghana? Joining me for some education here is a joint business researcher and analyst, Philip Manfuri. Philip, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, so what exactly do we mean by all these uh, jargons? Okay, so loan to deposit ratio, essentially mm -hmm. banks receive deposits, they make out loans. Um, that's just a ratio between what you receive and what you give out. So yeah. if you say, for example, this ratio is 100%, it means that for every $100 you receive as a bank in deposits, you give it out as loans. And Central Bank of Nigeria is telling the banks that they should have a ratio of 60%. Mm. So, yes, now, so what does it tell us about the state of the economy? Well, you know, Nigeria had um, a problem with its um, economy some time back, a few years ago, be mainly because it depended on oil revenues exactly. for its survival. Yes. And when the prices of oil crashed, the economy also went down and we saw the recession and all that. So there was a bit of a slowdown in the economy and we saw that the Nigerian banks weren't lending and putting their funds elsewhere. So in order to spare lending, they wanted to, the central bank in its wisdom, wants to encourage the banks to give money out to individuals or businesses in the Nigerian economy. Now, is it, is it usual or is it normal for central banks to actually interfere in, in times like these or to do such types of, uh, give such type of action, directives to commercial banks? Okay, so central banks have the mandate to ensure that there's price stability, that's inflation, and others also have a mandate to ensure that there's full employment, like the Federal Reserve in the USA. Um, with this, I would relate it to, in a manner, to what happened in the 1970s in Ghana, what we call financial repression, where government was controlling the activities of banks. I'm not saying that the Central Bank of Nigeria is being repressive in its operations, but to tell a bank to lend up to a certain level is, is more or less telling them what they should do with their money. There mm. are certain controls. For example, we have what we call the cash reserve requirement in Ghana here. Mm. It's about 10%. So all your deposits are kept in the bank. 10% of your deposits are kept to Bank of Ghana, and yeah. the rest is what you have to lend. Mm -hmm. But telling them to actually lend to a certain amount is a bit dicey. Mm -hmm. let, me, let, me, let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. And in Ghana, we, 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 we have similar examples. So the, I prepared an, an infograph, as usual, and I'll call on the first one and let our viewers and listeners see what exactly we have there. So if you look at this, this is Bank of Ghana's banking sector report, and you see that most of the funds that the banks have are going into investments. That's treasury bills, bonds, and less of it's going into lending. And you see that over the course of time, the trend has been changing. Even over just a few years, from April 2017, 2019, you see that banks are giving more in terms of investments mm. and shying away from lending. So you see that to tell a bank to give this ratio is a bit dicey because what happens if the bank loses on those loans, those extra loans mm. the central bank is asking you to give out. Who is going to cover that cost? The uh, bank itself. Is this the way of also sanitizing the industry like, you know, Ghana has, has moved to do recently? No, this is a way of ensuring that borrowers get money. But you see, banking is a business uh, of trust, confidence, and banks are in it to drive shareholder value and to make profit okay. on the side. Mm. So if you are forcing a bank, telling the bank that this should be your loan to deposit ratio, there are some implications because at the same time, loan to deposit ratio speaks to your liquidity. So how much you have on hand to honor obligations of customers. Okay. So if you are giving a lot out as loans, then there's less in your accounts or in your books. Is this inflationary? Out. To an extent. I like that. To mm. an extent, when you are pumping more money out to the system. in the system, there's an inflationary aspect. But that's why I say that in the wisdom of the Central Bank of Nigeria, mm. I'm sure they've looked at all this and they are taking this action. And we hope it doesn't tell any... Um, and told issues in the Nigerian economy. All right. so, so what kind of lessons uh, can we learn in our sister, from our sister nation's experience? Okay, so for Ghana like this, if you look at our loan to deposit ratio, average of all the 23 banks in operating the country, it's about 53%, lower than mm -hmm. that of the night. And if you look right there, it's even below. It's about 51.7% as mm -hmm. of April 2019. So we are way below the 60% of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And you see that over time, it's been coming down from 74.9% in April 2016. And it's come down. So our banks are also lending less and are putting more money into um, treasury bills, into government securities, because lending is risky. 
and it's safer to give your money to the government in treasury bills whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So over the course of time, yes, we want banks to lend, but at the same time, we want to make sure that they do the prudent thing so that we don't have non-performing loans building up again. Many thanks for that education. Philip Naufui, or a researcher of a Business Desk, uh, bringing us up to speed with some comments on the latest directive by the Central Bank of Nigeria to commercial banks. And on that note, we wrap up this afternoon's edition of the Market Face. Thank you very much for being with me on this show. My name is Imana Afwaji. We are here for